As the sun was setting, a little girl vanished in Springfield, Missouri in October 1975. She was walking from her grandparents' house to her own home five blocks away. And surely coming back over here, she's supposed to come home here and stay with Christy. That's when my Aunt Joyce said, well, she hasn't made the home yet. And you know, Granny's like, she should have been there and back by now. Was she picked up on her path back home? Different witnesses said that they saw a blue car and that they saw her talking to somebody in the car. That's basically the last time they saw Shirley alive. Two months later, the body of Shirley Jane Rose was discovered in a shallow grave by a lake north of the city. Neither man or legs were put behind her may have been tied. She was still fully clothed and she had an article of clothing around her throat. That walk? Shirley Jane's disappearance still haunts many. Missy wants to stop and pick her up and take her out to eat with us. And I said, we're in a hurry and and didn't do it. Rumors lay most of the blame on the little girl's mom. Apparently the whole reason for this thing was because it was involving drugs and money or lack of money. No one has ever been convicted for the nine-year-old's murder, but public perception had a man on trial nearly his entire life. That was a belief for many years that he was involved. There's even a rumor that she was made to start digging her own grave. Early on, police couldn't shake a conversation. They were in an interrogation room, and during a conversation, one of them was heard to say, we killed her or something to that effect. A judge writes a letter to the killer outlining what he believes are details of her last moments on earth, demanding justice. When the grave was ready, you took your bare hands and strangled her. I am personally going to see that you are sent to the gas chamber, and it's going to be the happiest day of my life. There are twists and turns along the way. One of the victims was shot from a distance. There were additional shots fired from close or point-blank range. I ain't got a better remorse. Are these the only three people you've killed? No, well, they're not the first. I've never done it three at a time, but... <laughs> are you still here, Shirley? Did he hurt you? Turn it on if he hurt you. Was it Stephen? I didn't want to ask you that question. The Toll Season 1, The Path Back Home, is a true crime podcast. Join me as we take a journey through a decades-old murder. Everybody's saying it's him. It's got to be him. We have other suspects that we know of. In fact, we arrested two of them back in 75. And talk about the impact, the toll Shirley Jane's death had on this community. Our family needs justice, and I have a deep yearning that they could find out and, and get the case solved. The Path Back Home. 